You know, Jacob, we should have played In the Air tonight or some kind of like love song because this week's a very great week for Aaron Torres. It's a, it's a happy week. But there's a lot of ladies that listen to this show that it's a very sad week, okay? It's a disappointing weekend because in a couple of days, Aaron Torres is going to be off the market. He's going to have a small gold band wrapped around his left finger or his, you know, the one over the ring finger on the, beside the pinky on the left hand. And uh, he's, he's officially off the market. Aaron Torres, are you nervous, man? How are you? Welcome into the game. Yeah, I mean, it's a little sad. You know, I know that I have uh, quite the uh, fan club over there in Tuscaloosa. Feels like the end of an era, you know, but, but we all grow up. We all mature. We all move on. Um, you know, the ladies of Tuscaloosa always be uh, number two in my heart, but there is a new number one. And, you know, we'll see. I'm excited. I'm ready. It's about that time. I'm definitely ready. Uh, you know, I don't know how you're, I think you're married, Ryan. I know you're, you know, you've no, been, no, no. I, yeah, I've been married for uh, over 20 years, man. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I know that there's a lady in your life. I just didn't know if it was official, but you know, for anybody who's out there that's been married, you know, the last couple of days are hectic. Uh, so yeah, I'm just ready to get the show on the road for lack of a better term. And, uh, yeah, next time you, uh, you have me on the show, I'll be an old boring married guy. Uh, by this time, you know, when you call me around this time, Ryan, I'll be getting ready for dinner, dinner at that point. So uh, I'm going to be a new man when I come back. Not a better man, a new man, uh, an old man, because I'm going to be married here in about 72 hours from now. All right. So kind of help me understand what it's like, because I didn't have a big like church wedding. I didn't have a big wedding. I didn't have a, you know, it, it, mine was um, very, very small, private. But what, what's what's going through? What like give me the itinerary for today for Aaron Torres, like what do you still have to do or is it everything done and you just got to show up now? What, what What's the itinerary for Aaron Torres today? Well, the itinerary for Aaron Torres today was actually to go to the DMV for five hours because my license was about to expire uh, before the end of the weekend. Also, my birthday on Saturday. So anybody that wants to send uh, birthday cards as well, you know, stuff, you know, envelopes, stuff full of cash to the, uh, you know, you could send them to the game. Ryan will forward them to me, but yeah, no. So my license was about to expire, so I got to the DMV. Just got out about forty-five minutes ago. I'm I am officially, uh, you know, I'm good to go going forward. So that was really the number one thing on my itinerary. But no, I mean, most everything's done at this point. Uh, my family, you know, I'm from the East Coast originally. We're getting married out here in California, so they'll start traveling in over the next day or so. Uh, we'll head down to the venue uh, probably about t- late tomorrow night, uh, and then the festivities begin. Then it gets crazy, and, uh, you know, we'll throw a party, and hopefully two of us say I do, and, you know, and we'll begin our, our life full of marital bliss. I got you. Well, if you get nervous, we're here for you. Okay. Like, like, Are like, you on air Friday, Ryan? I know it's like a long no, holiday but, weekend. but, but I, I don't mind talking to you, so I can pretend that I'm on the air. I, I'm, uh, I'm taking Thursday and Friday off. Uh, happy birthday, uh, America. Happy birthday. And Aaron. Don't forget Aaron. Um, well, no, I mean, but yeah, but no, that's, that's Saturday. What I that's not Thursday. It's Saturday, your birthday. You just tell me, you told me his birthday was Saturday. You said the long weekend, Ryan. You said you're taking a long weekend. They're I, all I they're all part of the same weekend. Well, but but you know what I'm doing now? I'm storing something in my phone because my wife's birthday is next Monday. And so now I know that Aaron Torres and my wife have something in common. It, it's just a couple of days apart here. So I, sure. I, I'm now, I'm storing this. S- seven, no, eight. that's good. Go ahead. No, no I mean, okay. I, I I appreciate it. No, yeah, I was going to say. Um, you want me to sing to you? Uh, no, I, I just, you know, in, in case I was nervous on Friday, I thought maybe I could call, we could take callers together, people could talk me off the ledge, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you bailed on me and my time of need, Ryan. I was really relying on you and the good folks at T Town to get me through that day. But uh, they can always uh, send me nice regards on Aaron underscore Torres on Twitter. And uh, and yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be a fun weekend though. I, I'm glad you're taking a little time though. You work way too hard, man. I'm glad you're taking a few days. You got any big plans for the holiday or what? Yeah, I've got a I got a honeydew list a mile long, man. I I mean I I just being honest with you. Uh, I Make sure up, you pick up a birthday present amongst that many, amongst those many things. Yeah, I picked up nine gallons of paint earlier today, or or will be picking it up. I ordered it today. Uh, my wife, th- see, this is what you've got to look forward to. Okay, uh, sure. 
you 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 pick up things knowing that it's going to be, you know, crap. Okay, like like you, you the, the, it, it will automatically become like you'll have to predict what your weekend looks like based on an item that you're picking up at the grocery store or <laughs> so, something. I mean, it's it, so yeah. I, uh, I I need to ask my wife what the itinerary is, but it looks like it's it's got a paintbrush in my hand for some reason. Do you know yet what you're painting, or you just know you're painting something? Yeah, no, I I think I've got a I got an idea, but I'm I'm, I'm trying to get out of this. To be honest with you, what's I your mean, excuse? Can you fake a health injury, a health scare, or what? Well, I mean, you know, I, I sore throat. Uh, there's no football. <laughs> I, I mean, I gotta get I gotta find some way to get out of this. But I, I'm still. I mean, she, she has friends that listens to this program, Aaron. I don't want to tip her off. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this conversation never happened to all her friends out there. We're sorry about that. Aaron Torres, Fox Sports Radio, National College Football Analyst, College Hoops Analyst, the Aaron Torres Sports Podcast, that you could simply go to Aaron Torres, at Aaron underscore Torres. Go to your Apple store, subscribe to the podcast, wherever you get podcasts. It's called the Aaron Torres Sports Podcast. Aaron, from the national side of things, I want to ask you about Tua Tungvaluwa just for a minute. He had a slight hamstring injury, had to pull out of the Manning Passing Academy late last Friday, uh, was not able to participate with Archie and Peyton and Eli down in Thibodeau, Louisiana. From a national level, how much do you question Tua Tungvaluwa's health? Yeah, I mean, I think it's fair at this point. I mean, you know, during that record-setting early stretch of last season, and I do still think Tua was robbed of the Heisman by Kyler Murray, but, you know, I, I mean, I think the narrative was pretty clear was that he wasn't getting hit, he wasn't getting touched. And then as the defenses got better late in the season, LSU, Mississippi State, uh, Georgia in the SEC championship game where he was obviously knocked out, and then the college football playoff, like he wasn't the same quarterback. And so, you know, look, I, I think everyone's probably overreacting to the fact that to this uh, hamstring injury um, in the sense that, you know, I think if 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 this was uh, you know week four and Nick Saban had a press conference every week and Nick Saban came to the podium and said, yeah, you know, he tweaked it, you know, running drills yesterday, but he's not expected to miss any playing time. Then I don't think it's a big deal. But I think because it's the off season, because we don't have much to talk about, because Tua does have a little bit of a history here, and it's nothing that I would be super concerned about yet. Yeah. It becomes a talking point, but I, I get the idea of why it's a talking point. I don't think it's anything that if I was if I was a Bama fan that I'd be worried about today. Oh, this guy can't stay healthy or anything like that. Um, you know, I think it was in maybe uh, I don't know if you want to call it a, a coincidence. Maybe coincidence is not a strong enough word for what happened. Um, I get the concern, but I also feel like look at the end of the day, you know, Tua has nothing to gain by trying to play through a hamstring injury uh, at the pass, uh, at the Manning Passing Academy. He needs to get healthy, get set for August 31st or right around then when Alabama kicks off uh, against Duke. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a believer that it, it, this is any sound the alarms, you know, anything like that. Aaron, when you look at the national side of things, you guys discuss a lot of topics, a lot of topics that we're immune to here. We get our blinders on, and it's all Alabama football, Alabama football, Alabama football, Nick Saban, Tua Tonga Valoa, you know, Jerry Judy, whatever. You could go through the list of players. I'm curious from a national standpoint, uh, Colin Kaepernick has been in the news again today involving Nike, and Nike has made a silly, stupid statement this afternoon uh, talking about, and, and I can read it to you if you haven't read it, uh, talking about they didn't want to offend anybody, unintentionally offend anybody, detract from the nation's patriotic holiday. Uh, there was a shoe that was made with the American flag, uh, the original American flag with 13 colonies, 17, 17, 1776. Uh, Colin Kaepernick intervenes. Nike pulls the shoe contract. The sports world is reacting. What does Aaron Torres think? Um, you know, I, I think it's kind of silly, you know, and obviously Ryan, you know, we, we both want to be delicate and, you know, one, we don't want to offend anybody, but at the same time, just because one person isn't offended doesn't mean that that necessarily makes it the majority. Right. And so, you know, Nike coming out, making a statement, um, you know, in that regard, 
Um, you know, I'm sorry that it offends Colin Ka- Kaepernick, but, you know, Nike One has a lot of consumers. They have a lot of product endorsers. And I think it's a bad precedent that one of their product endorsers says, um, this particular thing offends me. Well, you know, look, Tiger Woods played, played golf with Donald Trump a few weeks ago. Does, if that offends somebody, should we ban Tiger Woods from playing golf with Donald Trump? You know, Michael Jordan went on a date with Christian, a double date with Cristiano Ronaldo the other day, and I don't know how that could possibly conceivably offend somebody. But you know, like, like is 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 if Michael Jordan had gone on a double date with, I listen. Let, let me let me throw out a crazy hypothetical for you, right? Yeah, what if Michael Jordan he went on a double date with Cristiano Ronaldo the other day? Well, by the way, first of all, Cristiano Ronaldo is being investigated by for sexual assault. Does that offend anybody? What if instead of going out with Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, he went on a double date with, and, 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 and humor me here, Ryan, what if he went on a double date with O.J. Simpson? It does, it, does that mean that Nike has to remove him as a brand ambassador? Does that mean they have to admonish him? You know, to me, look, I, I think there are clearly things that uh, offend the great majority of people um, in this society. And there are hot-button issues, there are hot-button words, there are hot-button subjects. We all know what they are, and I don't need to rehash them here. But this just doesn't feel like one of them, especially, by the way, when Nike already has out basketball jerseys of the Philadelphia 76ers with a very similar logo or whatever. So that's kind of my big takeaway is, you know, look, I'm sorry that Colin Kaepernick's offended, um, you know, but if I'm offended by Colin Kaepernick being offended, what does that mean? You know, it's just we can't be basing these big, huge, you know, business decisions off of, you know, one person's feeling. And, and, and if there was a stronger movement, I don't know where that line is. If there was a, a huge public outcry, then maybe it'd be different. But like I said, I just don't think one guy, one opinion is enough that we should literally stop printing up sneakers. All right. So, and, and, Aaron, I was sort of neutral with Colin Kaepernick, and, and I even took a lot of criticism because I didn't really have a strong opinion that I wanted to share publicly around sure. the uh, NFL standing for the anthem, kneeling for the anthem. I, I didn't have a strong take because it, it was one of those, if I did have a take, it would be a distraction uh, because, you know, we're a college football show and, and you'd go into the, you know, the, they are like, you've been listening to Nick Saban too much, man. Okay, yeah, right, right. Well, yeah, right, right. So, so, I mean, I was all about the process. Okay. And, sure. and so I took a lot of criticism for not having an opinion, but this I've got an opinion on because I think it crosses the line. I mean, when, when a symbol that represents something, Aaron, I think you agree with me. We live in the greatest country in the world, man. That this is not- the epicenter. This is the best of the best. Well, listen, you know, I don't know how far we can take this, Ryan, but, you know, obviously right now immigration is a hot-button issue, and there is a reason there is so much conflict at our borders right now. It's because there are literally thousands of people every day who are fleeing a significantly worse life, whether it's a war-torn country, whether it's a violent country, whether it's poverty that most of us can never imagine – There's a reason that tens of thousands of people every day are trying to cross into our borders. And whether you agree with with our immigration policy or not, the simple fact remains there's a reason that all those people are trying to cross these borders. And it's because we live a great life. We we live in a great country with great opportunity. Um, You know, we we see across the world, um, you know, Free speech is is banned and at times can can land you in trouble, can land you in jail, can land you death. You know, there are plenty of places in the world where you're not allowed to marry who you want to marry, be it um, the sex of the person you want to marry, the race of the person you want to marry, the class of the person you want to marry. And so to me, um, you know, with, with Kaepernick specifically, I never looked at it as him protesting America, which he is. And I do think that there's this overstatement about, oh, life is so tough in America. No, it's actually better than 99.9% of the world. Um, but I also just kind of had a very simple, fundamental issue um, with Colin Kaepernick, um, you know, disobeying his employers. And people say, oh, you know, it's this, it's this, and, and I, I'm not going to, I hope I don't offend anybody here, but, you know, it's this plantation owner mentality. No, it's not. It's not. It's a, 
employee-employer personality. And the, the example that I always use, Ryan, on my national Fox Sports radio show is, you know, first of all, we all have people to answer to in our lives. Every Pretty much everybody has a boss of some sort. Even people who are, you know, uh, business owners, they have, um, you know, they have clients to answer to, right? And so, you know, my whole thing with, with the kneeling is, if your boss tells you to do something, you got to do it. And it's not really up for debate. And the example that I always use uh, is I host a national radio show, Ryan. If Alabama plays LSU on a Saturday night and I come on and I want to talk tennis, I'm so fired up about tennis. I just watched tennis for two hours and Alabama LSU is the biggest story. Yes, I have every right to come on to my national radio show on a Saturday night at, at 11 o'clock central time and talk all the tennis I want. My uh, my boss also has the right to say, you're an idiot. Everyone's talking Alabama LSU. If you don't cut the tennis crap out, you're fired. And that is across every uh, spectrum of our society. That is a very simple uh, boss-employee relationship. And so that was what always bothered me about the Kaepernick thing is it has nothing to do with any of the social issues as much as it is when your boss tells you to do something you don't have to do it, but there can be repercussions, and that's exactly what happened with Kaepernick. That's a, that's a unique way to look at it. I don't think I've heard that approach, but I think it's a brilliant one, and that's why we feature Aaron Torres, college football analyst, Fox Sports Radio, the Aaron Torres Sports Podcast. He's a writer as well. Uh, the best way to connect with everything that Aaron Torres is involved in, including uh, getting married. Are you gonna put some wedding photos up? I mean, I mean, are you gonna are you gonna put that out there? I mean, I mean, is it? Uh... I generally don't put any of my personal stuff on social media because, as you know, Ryan, I know, you know, I people know, I know, like but, to... but but you don't have to put up like I'm not talking. I'm just talking about in general, just something. I mean, just something to remind us to take us where you're gonna be at on Friday evening. I'll put, I'll, maybe I'll put up a little something on social media just to let everybody know that you know. I'm not I asking made it for out a alive. Periscope Live. I mean, I'm not asking for a Periscope Live of the wedding. I'm just asking for a simple photo. I mean, take a picture of the cashews at the at the banquet. There's okay. nothing like Speaks Wedding than cashews and those little soft nuts that they that they serve at those weddings. You know what I'm talking about? The little oh, mints. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just something. Yeah. That will we'll remind see. us to to think about Aaron Torres as we're, you know been over with barbecue and you know oh, yeah he need any more celebrate america and celebrate Aaron. it's okay it's not that hard it's easy to remember yeah hey it's it, i love it i love it hey seriously though man early congratulations to you i hope you have an amazing time and uh have fun enjoy the moment i will well that part i'm not too worried about so thank you ryan i always appreciate your support i love coming on uh, and i hope you have a great day